Hey guys, welcome back to the Physio Bros. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a running intervals workout using your Garmin watch and also the Garmin Connect app on your iPhone. So let's get straight into it. So before we start, I've put all the compatible watches for this particular technique to create an interval workout using your watch and app into the description. So make sure you check that your watch actually works for this technique. The other thing to note is I use an iPhone 8, so I'm very behind, but I've updated the Garmin Connect app to the most recent version, so we should have no problems and it should be the same all round. Now having interval workouts as part of your training routine is essential if you're trying to get better at running or you're training for a race that you're wanting to absolutely smash. So this is gonna be really helpful because we're gonna show you the different types of interval workouts that you can create using the Garmin Connect app and basically they give you real-time feedback as you're running um, on splits, on working and resting, warm-up, cool down, the whole shebang. So we're gonna break that down step by step. Now this app is actually amazing in what parameters it allows you to set when creating your interval workout. What I mean by that is the way that you want to run your interval workout is completely up to you. So what it can do, it will prompt you based on targets that you set, which can be based off distance. So for example, if you wanted to do a 400 meter repeat, you could set it for 400 meters and then a rest period after that. And that could be a distance or it could be a time. You can also control if you wanna target how many calories you're aiming to burn or even a certain heart rate zone. And this just adds that extra element of control to your training, which will take you to the next level. Alrighty, so launch your Garmin Connect app. Then you're gonna click down the bottom right hand corner on the three dots saying more. You're gonna then click training in the middle workouts up the top and then create a workout and from here you're going to click run and then this screen is going to pop up with all the information on it now because we're doing intervals we're going to be doing repeats of certain parameters for that we're going to be deleting this run step in the middle and then down the bottom right you're going to be clicking add repeat what this will allow us to do is have a work rest component and you can see that this repeat is circled by this rectangle and this is going to be your repeats and we can control how many number of times we do it so to start off, we're gonna click on the, where it says two times and we're gonna change that to eight. Because for this example, we're gonna be doing eight 400 meter workouts. From there, we're gonna change our run. So we're gonna change, go in and you can see duration type. And this is where we're just checking that that's on distance because that's what we, how we wanna control our work component. And then we're gonna to go to set duration and we're gonna change that to 400 uh, meters and then click done. So you can see that that's changed that there. We're gonna then change our rest component. So for this, we're gonna do a time-based rest. So we're gonna check that that's clicked on time and then we're gonna change the duration to just to two minutes because we're gonna do 400 meters on and then two meters off. From here, we can change the warm up. So for that, I just wanna do a distance-based warm up. I just wanna run 500 meters. So we're gonna change the duration type to distance and then set that duration to 500 meters click done, go back, and then we're gonna go and change the cool down as well. And for that, we're also going to change that to the 500 meters, exact same way. Beautiful, so you can see here, we're going to just check that our whole workout is complete. So we've got a 500 meter warm up and cool down, and then we've got eight repeats in the middle of that steps um, two and three. So a 400 meter run and then a two meter rest. So from here, you're gonna click save at the top right. So we're gonna name the workout, so 400 meter intervals, and then we're gonna go and click back into that intervals. And then at the top right, you can see that picture of the phone with the arrow and you're gonna tap that. And then you're gonna click on your compatible devices of your watch. And once that's finished, you'll see this prompt with the tick. And what that means is it means we're ready to sync the watch. So you just go back to the home screen on my day and sync your watch at the top right hand corner, wait for that to be complete, and then we're on to our next stage. So now you've created the perfect running workout that you wanna do based on your goals. You've pressed sync, it's been sent to your watch, and now we've gotta find it on your watch. So now I'm gonna show you how to do that. Alrighty, so here we go. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna to go top right onto the run portion of our device. We're gonna open up a run, we're gonna get rid of the suggestion, and then your screen's gonna pop up for a run. Now I'm clicking my up arrow, which is the middle on the left, to go to options. And then this is where the workouts can be accessed. So we're gonna to click top right for workouts. And then we're gonna scroll down, down and find that 400 meter intervals workout, which we just saved. So we can open that out. Now, I always like to check it beforehand so we can just view. So as we said before, warm up is 500 meters, run is 400 meters, rest is two minutes and then repeat steps two to three, eight times, perfect, and then cool down 500 meters. So that's fantastic. So we can click bottom right to get out of that. Click back up to do workout, top right, 
does that and then it says start the timer to begin the workout so we can go okay and then um, we just start the timer and you will be off. All right, so I'm gonna show you another workout with some different parameters, just so you get a bit of variety of what you can choose from. So we're going to get back into that initial screen. We're gonna delete the middle run step and then we're gonna add our repeat as well. So from here, we're gonna adjust the warm up. And so for this warm up, we're just gonna do a time based warm up this time because I just wanna run for five minutes a gentle jog. And we'll just write a bit of a description to remind us of what we're doing as well. So for this particular workout, we're gonna change our repeats to six repeats. And what the work rest component is gonna be is we're gonna set our run portion. So our duration type is going to be time this time because we're gonna do a fartlek style workout. So we're gonna change that time uh, to three minutes and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna change our rest time, this time to lap button press. Now, what this means is it basically means you have control of when you wanna finish the rest component. So it could be 30 seconds, it could be four minutes. And you just press that lap button press when you wanna move on to your next run component. After that, we're gonna go down and we're gonna change the cooldown. Now for this one, we're gonna do something weird just because I wanna show you the parameters you can do. We're gonna do a calorie based cooldown. So we're gonna go and we're gonna click the calories and then we're going to change them to be doing 60 calories. So what that will mean is it means the workout will finish once we've burned an additional 60 calories as our cool down, but it's just an example of what you can do. So then we're gonna go and save the fartlek workout just like that, click back into it, click the phone um, link button up the top right hand corner, click on your device, and then make sure we go back after we see the tick and sync our device. And then we access the workout the exact same way I showed you through the watch before. And that's it guys, you have the perfect running workout stored on your watch, ready for your next run for you to smash. Now we have so many different running workouts that we've shown you, interval workouts, sprint, heels, all of that on this channel. We've linked some of them in the description for you to check out um, and they can be perfect for you achieving your next goals as well. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure you absolutely smoke that like button, subscribe. In other good news, our Instagram is up and running, so search up the Physio Bros and you'll see our heads on there. So give that a follow because there's so much content to come and we'll see you in the next video.